this is a day of the Lord. And I want you to know that no matter what you have ever gone through, God is in the boat with you. The Bible says in that same day, when the Lord said to his disciples, let us go to the other side, there was trouble. Why? Because somebody in the other side needed a breakthrough, needed to be set free, needed to come out of bondage. Somebody that has been in the grave needed to come out of the grave. So when they were going, ah, uh ah, -uh, there was opposition because they did not want that person to come out of the grave. They wanted him to die in poverty, lack and limitation. There was storm. That storm came. The storm came because of somebody that needed a breakthrough, that needed to succeed, that needed to move forward in life, that needed to fulfill his destiny. Listen, Houston, what happened recently is not to destroy us. Though the enemy meant it to destroy us, they came to wipe out the whole of Houston. But you know, God was there, even in the storm. Even in the storm, God was in the storm. Jesus was in the boat when there was storm. But he was waiting for a moment to show the power of God. God showed his power in Houston that this is not time for my children to go down. God is calling us to come back to him. To come back to the first love. Most of us have left our first love. This is an eye opener. This is, a sh this is an alarm. God is raising an alarm. My children, I love you. Because of my love, I sent my only begotten son. That you will not perish. But most of us have left our first love. But God said, come back. Listen, this is not to destroy you. This is to take you back to your position. This is to increase you. This is to make you believe that I am your God. And to give you confidence in me. So now after the storm, what do you do? Let us stand firm. Have you, been, have you been bruised? Have you lost everything? Have they stolen from you? Is it that all that you have you lost? Listen, there's restoration. The Lord said, I will restore the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar has stolen from you. I want you to know that nine doors have been opened for you even though the enemy thought they destroy you. God has just added more for you. Remember, God will never tell lies. God will never, God will never stop his breakthrough. He said, I am the Lord thy God. I change not. Therefore, you children of Jacob cannot be consumed. You cannot be consumed no matter what they plan. So at this time, saints of God, let us hold on to God. Hide under that secret place. Let your confidence be in him. Call on him daily. It does not matter what you have lost. Job said, though he slays me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before, before God because I know that this affliction is worth for a moment. It's, it's, it's slight and for a moment and it worked an eternal glory. So whatever you went through that seemed tormenting, that seemed disappointing, God is turning it for good. So let us stand in that place of receiving. After the storm, the madman received his sight. He received his mind. He, that insanity disappeared. So somebody is about to receive. So for you to receive, what do you do? What do you do to receive? At this time, give it all to Jesus. At this time, surrender it all to Jesus. At this time, let your confidence be in him. At this time, meditate on the word of God. The word of God. God is his word. In the beginning was the word. If we want to make it for such a time as this, let that word be engrafted in our heart. Use the word. Father, your word said that you provide that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That if I ask, I shall receive. So use the word of God and be prayerful violently. Violently. Pray inquiry prayer. Tell God about your situation. Tell God about what you're going through. Because he wants you. He knows. But he wants you to say it. He wants you to say it. For God loves you so much. So let us walk in obedience. Because disobedience will bring another storm. We have already passed through that storm. We don't want another one. Let us be obedient in God. Let us fear God and don't be afraid of this world. Don't be afraid of what you see because what we see is temporary. So be bold, be courageous like what God told Joshua and then put your whole trust in him. Put your whole life in him. Give him your life again. Dwell in that secret place and surrender all. He will never fail you. God has never failed and he will never fail you. Yes, it has happened and the best is coming. The best has just landed. Position yourself to receive the best in Jesus' name.